Norfolk State can make it five. If the Spartans beat Missouri Friday in the opening round of the West Regionals in Omaha, Nebraska, Chris Reckling has the latest with the Spartans. One final practice for Norfolk State before the Spartans take their leap into the madness of college basketball's premier event. It's like a dream come true. You know, all your life, you grow up watching the tournament. You, as a coach, you want to be in it, and now it's coming true. The events of last week have been a blur for head coach Anthony Evans and his team. Whirlwind. Absolute whirlwind. I mean, before that, the championship game, not sleeping, you know, being anxious about that, winning it the next day, you know, everything just coming so quickly. Like all kids who grow up playing basketball, these players are living the dream and have the support of the school and the community behind them. Man, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. I have a lot of, lot of, lot of college, college friends I grew up playing with. I mean, after, after the game, I had over like 60 text messages from some of my best friends who played and got knocked out. It was like, uh, you're going you're gonna to live the dream that I wish I, I could be in your shoes, you know? So it's just a blessing. In just two days, the Spartans will take center court in Omaha, Nebraska. Then we will learn if the MEAC champions can throw a monkey wrench into everyone's pool by shocking the heavily favored Tigers of Missouri. Well, this is what you play the game for, to play against the best. And they're one of the best teams in the country, so I'm really looking forward to playing against them. Well, we, we have to get back to being normal because a lot of the hype, the media, everything we have to do when we get out there, we have to be poised, confident when we get on the court. In Norfolk, Chris Reckling for the Sports